Okay, welcome to Lecture Online, and here is a simple theorem, although quite insightful and very useful for our purpose here, is it's called Varion's Theorem. And what does that mean? Well, let's say that we have a point where all the forces are acting on at a distance r away from the origin. And of course, the distance r, it's, it's a position vector. It's the moment arm. And you can see that the forces are enacting all different directions in three-dimensional space. So what is the moment of the resulting uh, action here of all those forces acting on that particular point? Notice, of course, that in each case, the force is pointing in a different direction relative to R and relative to one another. It turns out that the moment, therefore, is equal to the position vector R multiplied in the form of a cross product or vector product times the sum of all the forces involved. And how do we practically apply that? Well, it turns out we can then write this as the moment is therefore equal to R cross the first force vector plus R cross the second force vector plus and so forth until we've done it all the way around to R cross the final force vector. So we can go ahead and simply do the vector product between the position vector and each of the forces independently, add them all together, and that will then be the sum of the moment of the position, or the moment of the situation in this case, so the particular problem that we're dealing with. So, as we're going to see pretty soon in some good examples where there's multiple forces acting on a particular point, they are acting in different directions, sometimes in different locations, how do we find the total moment? Simply by taking the position vector in each case, to the force that's acting on it and then doing the cross product or the vector product and simply adding all those vector products together to get the total moment and that will help us do many of the problems coming up and that's known as variance theorem.